It's finally here. I'm ready to get my pro career started. Question is, where am I gonna go? I'm currently projected as a mid-second rounder, but my talent grade is a fourth rounder. So regardless of what team takes me, I'm probably gonna be a project quarterback. I understand that, I know that. Didn't play a whole lot of college football. Led a team, Boston College, to a lot of success. Almost won the Heisman Trophy. Well, technically I did win the Heisman Trophy, but as the whole world knows, I gave it away to my teammate Xavier Bolt, which a lot of people gave me flack for that, but I think it was the right thing to do. The question is, what team am I gonna go to? And I think it doesn't really matter what team I go to. As long as I'm in the NFL, as long as I'm working on my craft, and as long as I'm getting ready for that opportunity, whenever that comes to become a starting quarterback for a team, the better. But more than likely, I'm probably going to be going to a quarterback-hungry team. Could it be Tampa Bay with Tom Brady in the background? I'm hoping that it's not to back up a guy like Patrick Mahomes or it's not a guy trying to back up... Um, a really good young quarterback such as like Tua, Jalen Hurts, Carson Wentz, Matthew Stafford, uh, maybe San Francisco I could go there. Daniel Jones is kind of on the mend there in uh, New York. Sam Darnold as well in New York. Goff in Detroit. Rodgers like, that could happen as well in Green Bay. So there's a lot of destinations that could use a quarterback like, like me who's just not going to be probably not coming in to start right away. Again, I probably shouldn't want to try to back up Russell Wilson or a guy like Deshaun Watson because I'm never going to play. I'm never going to play. Those guys are young. Those guys are talented. And I'm just probably going to be wasting away as a backup quarterback for the rest of my life. So hopefully hopefully, I get to get drafted somewhere that's going to be able to utilize me in the future, that has a plan for me in the future. Free agent market for quarterbacks has been pretty, pretty light. Josh Dobbs, Bortles signed, John Kaiser signed, Tim Boyle. Yeah, so backup jobs all the way around, signing up. That doesn't that doesn't leave a lot of openings uh, for me to be a backup quarterback. But as we see, Trevor Lawrence going number one overall to Jacksonville. So the national champion is going to go there and uh, try to revamp Jacksonville. But hey, my friend, my buddy, Xavier Bolt going to get drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. Wow, that's that's crazy to think about. So Minnesota Vikings with Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson. So they've really tried to surround Kirk Cousins with some offensive weapons. So I'm happy for Xavier Bolt. Gets taken number three, number four overall. Right where he was pretty much slotted. And the guy is just going to be, he's going to be a baller out there in Minnesota. I guarantee it, depending on if they can get another quarterback. I have all the respect in the world for Kirk Cousins, but... You know, good leader and, um, you know, kind of a guy that I, I model my game off of a little bit, a little bit. Maybe not as West Coasty, but I do have a little bit of Kirk Cousins in my game, as at least the scouts want to say. But I'm sitting here waiting until I get drafted. We're still in round one. 28 goes by. 20, 30 goes by with the Jets. Yeah, round one. Not looking too good. We're into round two now. Here comes Minnesota's pick. And it could be me. It could be me coming up here. Am I going to get drafted? Am I going to be able to team up with Xavier Bolt? I'm not. So at least not yet anyway. At least not yet. So third round, Minnesota takes Marvin Wilson, defensive tackle from Florida State. So I'm still yet again not going to be taken by Minnesota to team up with Xavier Bolt. But I do go to New York. The New York Jets are going to take a chance on me. And we see Xavier Bolt is going to be a he's going to be a dog in this league. He's going to be so so good. And you know what? New York's got some good things going. We got Devonta Smith, who is a really good receiver out in Alabama. And uh, you know me taking in the third round with, along with Dylan Moses. I think this was a good draft for New York, and I'm I'm excited to get started with this team. And you know, Xavier Bolt might not be with me, but at least the New York Jets organization understood that I need a big time target. And so does my buddy Sam Darnold, right? We both need a big-time target here in New York, and Devonta Smith is going to provide that no matter who wins this job. Uh, me being a 69 overall, according to Madden, right? Everybody buys Madden and wants to know what their ratings is. And I'm, I'm apparently a 69 overall in Madden, so I'm going to try to prove everybody wrong. I'm just trying to win that job. But... Coach Zimmer coming in here after Adam Gase was let go, and he understands that we got to get some offensive weapons here in New York. 
He's got a lot of offensive weapons out there in Minnesota for a long, long time. But I'm ready to get my first starting gig in preseason. And the first snap is going to be a run for James White. He's only going to pick up two, second and eight against Tennessee here at home. So the bright lights in New York. It's, uh, it's a lot different than Boston College. It's a lot different than Middle Tennessee State. But I was born for this. I was ready for this going to school at Notre Dame. I was really, really going to be ready to go, ready and revving to go at that, uh, at that prime football school. It just didn't happen. So now it's, now it's finally here. It's finally here. Big time moment for me. Big time opportunity to get things started on the right foot. And an interception here. I know that that was just not a good throw. It's, it's not a good throw. I mean, I, I put it where it needed to be for my receiver, but the, the cornerback just came in and cut it off. And it's something that happened a lot in college. And I just got to get better with that. I got to get better with this. This is the NFL. This is not college football any longer. But third down and 12 situation here. We're down 7 nothing. We do get a completion. Now second and 8. I'm trying to feel the pocket a little bit. And we got James White on the angle route. There you go, buddy. Get all the way down to that 28-yard line. First quarter is coming to a close, and that is the only action I will see. Coach Zimmer wanted me to get in, see what see what they got. I only prepared scripting, play calling. I was only prepared for one quarter, and it looks like we got the W. So Sam Darnold came in and uh, finished the job off, and we might have had another quarterback come in, maybe our third stringer. But, you know, I'm just battling right now for third string, second string. But looks like Coach Zim only wanted us. Darnold, Walchek, like it. 77 yards. I like it. One pick, though. 11 average yards per attempt compared to my teammate, Darnold, at 6.2. So I, I like the way that my opening debut went. went. Um, I know I made a, a, a kind of a bad throw there on that pick. But, you know, we're trying. We're trying. We're, 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 we're trying to get used to the speed of the NFL. A lot different. A lot different. I was able to catch after the game, I was able to catch some Xavier Bolt highlights with Minnesota as you know, he came out there in preseason against the Saints and he had a couple catches and took some contact that really what he was doing out at Boston College and Texas Tech. Kind of that improviser role, try to, you know, I saw that he was being designed some routes there, uh, specific routes and play calling, but he did try to improvise a little bit, try to get that offense moving for Kirk and the Vikings offense here but this deep bomb to Xavier Bolt here I feel like Z should have caught this one I know it's a tough one but I, I know he he's hurt he, he's hitting himself you know he's hitting himself about that too and um yeah man it's it's uh I know Z I saw him and I was like dude <laughs> he should have caught that he catches so many one-handed footballs out in Boston College when we were the duo out there but he's gonna drop this one too and it was a loss for Minnesota, 37-14. So the Saints, we got to watch out for them. They're actually our week number one regular season opponents. So I did try to watch some game film on the Saints as, as well as try to pick up on what Z was doing. And, you know, not bad for a rookie, man. Not bad for a rookie. Three catches, 25 yards. Not bad, you know, four yards after the catch, only 1.3 uh, receiving <laughs> receiving yards after the catch. So, yeah, it's it's um, Z's got a long way to go, too. I do, too. You know, two Heisman Trophy co co winners, but yeah, we, we got a lot of expectations surrounding us, and we gotta just pick it up. And you know, hopefully that's what the preseason's for, man. That's what it's for. We gotta we gotta get it done in week number one, week two, week three. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We got some, we got extra weeks so we can work on some things. But so far against Green Bay, I'm going up against Aaron Rodgers, and I can't really match him right now. 14 nothing. I'm trying my best out here, but we do have some drops from our receivers and my. Uh, percentage right now is not doing too hot but this one will help this one will help James White going all the way down to the one yard line come on James do what you did with New England 28-3 comeback you dove for a lot of those touchdowns that you had man that's what we really needed that's what we really needed it's kind of cool to learn from James White and uh, being a part of those Super Bowl teams so I'm going to pick his brain a little bit try to get better in that in that regard but we do get a holding call here still 14-0 I'm still looking for my first touchdown as a Jet, as a pro, I'm going to get sacked here. We're going to get pushed to the 15-yard line. Second and goal. More pressure coming. And I'm going to get it off to Jamison Crowder. But, man, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some hits here. 8 of 10 right now, so I do come back a little bit 
after some of those early drops, but nobody's open, and I, the worst thing I could possibly do in that situation is take us out of field goal range, but luckily, luckily, ah, well, we missed it. We missed it. I was going to say, luckily, we were going to be able to get a field goal, and we missed it. Had I not taken the sack, maybe we would have hit it. Who freaking knows, man? Who freaking knows? This is why we're on the New York Jets, right? Sad, sad, sad. But pass interference call, and then we're going to just bomb this thing up in deep with a minute 15 in the second quarter, and Darnell Savage going to pick it off. Not a good throw. I mean, this one's got to get a little more zip on it, I think. I, I, I had the receiver. It, it looked like that was going to be a, a solid throw, but Savage just came on in, and receiver just didn't even jump for it, man. That, that's uh, that's kind of frustrating, too, as, as a quarterback. No effort, low effort from our team here today at home in front of the hometown fans, and, you know, I try to double it up here and make something happen again down 21 nothing and another pretty bad throw Darnell Savage's back was turned I thought I could I thought I could hit it and I didn't I didn't coach Zim kind of let me have it here says you know you, you got to pick up your game here because Heisman winner co-Heisman winner or not you got to be one of the best 53 on the team and right now you're not you're not really playing like it right a lot of turnovers no touchdowns so far looking to get that turned around here against Dallas. I've always hated Dallas. I've always never been a Dallas Cowboys fan. Neither was my dad and neither was Brady. My brother Brady Walchek was never a Dallas Cowboys fan but we got a nice catch here by Chris Herndon. I gotta love Chris Herndon here. I, I, I'm gonna try to utilize my tight ends. I'm not the tallest quarterback in the world. I do have to be a little bit more West Coasty here in the NFL but oh no a fumble! Pick it up! I think it's Mekhi Becton picks it up and thankfully my left tackle comes through and Makes that happen, but it's going to be 14-3, to and I go down again, and I'm going to fumble it in the first quarter, man. Two fumbles. I just The pressure of being in the NFL is just really getting to me right now. But you know what? You know what? I would Like I said, I was built for this. I got to get it done. I got to get it done. I got here. I'm here now. This is what I've worked my whole life for. I'm not just going to go down without a fight. 21-3. to Try to get this offense moving a little bit. Some deep bombs, and this pass is going to be completed as well to the right sideline. That's Jordan Reed with the catch. Now the two. Touchdown. My first one. Thank God. Finally. It's like a, it's like a weight off the back, man. It's like I'm getting the gorilla off the back, dude. Oh, that felt good. Getting the first touchdown of my career against Dallas. And then now down 28 to 10. Second quarter, 35 seconds. We find Jamison Crowder towards the sideline, and I'm going to scramble. Throw on the run. Nice catch again by James White this time. And now 10 to 28. We drive into the end zone. Nobody was covering Devonta Smith, man. I mean, that's that's a that's a really tough draw. Nobody's going to cover. Nobody's going to cover the Alabama wide receiver. Jeez, oh, Pete. So I'm going to take that all freaking day. Big pass here, down by 11. So right now, I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now. This I'm feeling loose. I'm feeling good. I think I just needed a little bit of a kick in the butt just, just now. You know, Coach Zim was calling me out. My teammates were kind of feeling like we needed something and someone to light the spark. And I think I'm providing that right now. 28 to 17. And then that happens. We throw a pick to Leighton Vander Esch. And I didn't see him. I just didn't see him in the end zone. Blue end zone, blue jerseys, I didn't see him. It's frustrating. It's frustrating out here. I don't think I've been doing enough to, to win the job, unfortunately. I, I, I don't think that I've, I've been doing enough compared to Sam Darnold to do the job, but I'm going to still come out here. I mean, I get three quarters. I get three quarters, so we're going to do what we got to do here to drive and get ourselves in position for another touchdown, no matter who comes into quarterback and get it done and, uh, and get another touchdown on the board. But third quarter comes to a close. Got another interception. I think I've had one every single week, at least one every single week. That's not going to get the job done for a starting quarterback. And it's a little frustrating. And I'm walking off the field in, in Jerry World knowing that I'm probably not going to get the job. So we'll see what Coach Zim has to say here. I didn't have that bad of a game, like two touchdowns, 371 in preseason, 80%. So I, I showed the potential there. I got better. But, you know, Sam Darnold was a little more efficient than I was. So he had two touchdowns in less reps so unfortunately for me i mean maybe i set him up one maybe i set him up for a touchdown coach zim ends up giving me a call and what 
Uh, Coach, to my surprise, he's going to give me the starting nod. And the only thing I can say is, thank you. And you're right. Legacies are only built one step at a time. One game at a time. That's really where my game's at right now. I know where I'm at. I'm not playing very well. I got to play a little bit better. Maybe Coach Sim sees that potential in me. Maybe the Jets organization does too. Maybe they don't see that in my teammate, Sam Darnold. But I got to do what I got to do. I got to be able to get some W's and play well for this New York Jets team and this fan base.